Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Stott, I'm the Emperor of Stimeria, and today I want to go over what our plans are for building a genuine micronational community. So when I talk about establishing a micronational community, I'm not talking about the micronational community at large. Uh, that community already exists, you know, for better or worse, in some form or another. Um, what I'm talking about is bringing together micronations and micronationalists that share our values and objectives, that are looking to, uh, you know, build a trade network with one another that are looking to reduce reliance on and contributions to the micronations in which they're a part of in order to try and accomplish a de facto independence you know all legal above board all legitimate and obviously with that comes the cost of uh, lacking full genuine sovereignty over one's affairs but playing our cards right doing it by the book we will be able to mitigate our involvement in the macronational world to the point where we do become that much closer to building the society and the community that we want with our own unique cultures and identities. And, you know, who's to say, you know, in the years to come and the generations to come, it may thrive into something more. But laying the groundworks for that is important. And what we've always aspired to do and what a lot, a lot of our supporters know already what we've been aspiring to do is to bring together micronations and micronationalists like us into an empire and this empire of commerce of trade of enterprise where each micronation's customs traditions and identities and even government structures and all the rest of it are broadly maintained the goal of trying to bring these micronations together and micronationalists together is something that needs to be kicked up a gear, frankly, because we've rested on our laurels for quite some time because we haven't had the, uh, the, the urgency, I suppose, in growing this as quickly as we could. But the uh, first few months of 2022 have proven to be quite exceptional in terms of micronations coming forward, being incorporated into some area, increasing the number of citizens that we have, and, and the micronations within the Empire of Stamaria uh, also gaining traction and popularity, um, setting up their own social media accounts, attracting their own citizens. Wayward in particular has done exceptionally well in recruiting uh, a sizable citizen base. And the uh, momentum for this is something that we're very keen to continue. We're very keen to keep pushing forward with this idea of building an alternative society, building real world communities. And this is what I'm talking about when I talk about our genuine micronational community. Because you do have micronations, obviously, um, long established and relatively new, that will meet with one another. They'll talk about things, they'll discuss things, they'll you know, have their you know, video calls or they'll meet face to face or whatever else. But unless there's a particular purpose, a particular reason for doing so, these meetings by themselves, to me, just don't mean anything. I mean, some of the better established micronations of the world, I'm sure if you've been going 10, 20, 30, 40 years or whatever it may be, and you, you know, attend Microcon or whatever else, and you have these real world friendships and real world relationships with other micronational leaders, 
that's fantastic. I, I you know, it's something to be uh, applauded. But if the end goal in itself is just to build those relations because you enjoy having those relations, that's not enough for me. That's not enough for us. That's not enough for what we are trying to do. Because when we make a connection with another micronationalist or another micronation, then we are looking to build something, like actually build a community. And this will eventually culminate in, uh, you know, uh, micronationalists within Stemeria and within the micronations within Stemeria's empire in, you know, owning uh, freehold land, utilising freehold land, growing their own vegetables, producing their own energy, you know, uh, cleansing their own water and using that for themselves, you know, creating genuine sort of micronational markets and micronational economies and interchanging uh, goods and services with one another. That is our goal. That is our ambition and has been since, you know, almost since our inception. And this is something, uh, as I said, is something that we're very keen to keep pushing on with because 2022 has been a very successful year for the Empire of Stemeria. We have had more micronations and micronationalists come into the fold, but we want to keep this momentum up. And this is the purpose of this video. And for those who have been on our other social medias, you'll also know that we have um, sort of undergone a restructure uh, of some sort, a very, quite a small sort of change, but nevertheless one that's geared towards increasing the participation from our supporters uh, rewarding loyalty and commitment to the project, but also ensuring that uh, all the citizens of the Empire, of Stemeria and self in particular, uh, making sure that they will add value to the project, regardless of whether or not they're active. And so I wanted to go through quickly some of the changes that we've made to our citizen structure in particular, and also some of the smaller changes that we've been making further down the road. So the uh, way that we recruit citizens is through Patreon. And going forward, it could be through any platform, really. But Patreon is the most useful at this time for us to use, because it means that when a citizen, um, uh, when a supporter wants to become a citizen, they simply go onto Patreon and they submit a pledge, a monthly pledge, and that pledge is £1 a month. Now, this has been dropped from £2.50, which is what we had uh, initially, and we can't actually go lower than £1 a month. I did actually check. So £1 a month is the minimum amount we are able to um, charge. And this, I think, is a good sum in the sense that we we don't necessarily need um, financial contributions from our citizens to fund particular projects. We do have a relatively steady stream of revenue through our YouTube ad revenue, through merchandise sales, through real world econ economic activities. But the purpose of charging for citizenship is to separate the wheat from the chaff. If people are genuinely supportive of what we are trying to do, then one pound a month is not a big ask. For those, you know, who want to, you know, like us on Facebook or, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter or whatever else, that's effortless. And they can, you know, yell to the heavens how much they support us and how much they love what we're doing and all the rest of it. But if they cannot dedicate one pound a month to the project, which covers things like, you know, the, the cost of the running of the website, the merchandise, eventually the purchase of land, of uniforms, of sabres, of... Uh, you know, Stemerian status or whatever else, things that are necessary to fund the project and create this real, real world community that we're looking to establish. If people aren't able or willing to contribute that to the project, then there's really nothing else to discuss. Um, I mean, I, I honestly can't think of a, uh, a smaller uh, token that we could have possibly asked for in order to uh, have the supporters become citizens and then play an active role within Stemeria. Now, the Stemerian nobility tier that we used to have on Patreon, that is gone. So no longer is it a case where you will pay uh, a higher rate on Patreon to become a Stemerian noble. 
Uh, instead, Sumerian nobility is, as it was uh, when we first started, is something that is uh, that we we have to appoint them. So we appoint a Sumerian citizen as a lord or lady of Sumeria, a Sumerian noble, for uh, exceptional um, levels of support and commitment to the community that we're building. And this is a good way of sort of reinforcing our commitment to rewarding those who play an active role within Stemeria. And you, know, you can obviously still attain uh, an amazing title by contributing a noteworthy and exceptional amount, financially speaking, but that's by no means the only way and the only reason that we will appoint people as Stemerian nobles. So those are the two sort of major changes that we're making. But for those citizens and for those nobles that want to contribute more than one pound a month, uh, then the option to do so will now be through our Go Get Funding campaign. Uh, we've only recently set it up, and I don't expect it to be particularly heavily used, frankly. But for those that do wish to make a voluntary financial contribution um, of as much or as little as they want, uh, then that option to do so uh, is now available, whereas previously it wasn't. So that, again, will be in the description below, the link of which will be in the description below. It'll be on our website. It will be scattered around all over the place. Um, but yeah, you can make contributions that way as well, if you so wish. But those are the two major changes that we're making. And the promotion, the... Uh, of this sort of recruitment campaign is something we're going to be ramping up in the next few weeks and months um, because it is something that I've always been a bit reluctant to do. I don't really like going around saying, come and join us, come and join us, or come and buy our merchandise or whatever else. It's not something I like to do, but if we are looking to establish something permanent, something serious, something genuine, then at some point or another, we will need boots on the ground. We will pe need people who are committed to the project. We will need people that are dedicated in uh, the promotion of the values and objectives that we are striving to accomplish. So those, as I say, are the, the, that's the grand plan, if you like, and is to you know encourage our supporters to take that next step and commit to becoming citizens and from there hopefully progressing um, to either you know becoming a noble by having, doing something exceptional or simply just doing something as a citizen. You can become a minister, you can become a governor, you can be a member of the Imperial Guard and whatever you know positions come available to you. It depends what you want to do. But we cannot have people attain these positions unless they are first citizens of the Empire. And just going on a bit further than that, we will also be ramping up the promotion of the other micronations within the Empire of Stemeria, something that we have been doing relatively regularly anyway. But uh, Celestia, Moorland, and uh, Wayward in particular all recruit their citizens through Patreon, the same as us. And we would encourage people to join them um, in either instead of or as well as Stemeria, because those are projects that we are looking to promote and encourage the growth of because they are as much a part of Stemeria as Stemeria itself. They are, you know, we, we are all partners. I mean, it is the Stemerian Empire, or the Empire of Stemeria. Um, and uh, in one or two aspects, those micronations are subservient to the Empire of Stemeria, particularly with regards to foreign relations. Uh, but on, on the whole, they are their own thing. They are their own... Um, they have their own communities, their own cultures, their own identities, their own way of doing things and their own aspirations. Um, but we are nevertheless partner with them in a very meaningful way. All the heads of these micronations or the leaders of these micronations are Stemerians. They are Stemerian citizens. That's one of the reasons that they are, uh, that they form a part of the empire. But the, uh, the overall promotion of Stemeria and of all the micronations that make up Stemeria, as I say, is something that we're going to be ramping up um, going forward, so you'll expect to see a lot more uh, promotional campaigns, uh, maybe even paid advertisements out of my own pocket, because again, it's not it's not a money issue as such. It's about showing who is committed to the project, and that that's what matters, because at no point are we ever going to sacrifice quality for quantity. Because a lot of micronations, they can, you know, declare Facebook followers or likes or 
you know, YouTube subscribers or whatever else, they'll just clear them as citizens and go, yeah, we have 1,500 citizens or we have 1,000 citizens or whatever else. But it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't add value. It doesn't show uh, any level of commitment. And this is why when I see micronations that have been established for two weeks and go, oh, yes, we've got a population of 150, you, you just kind of have to roll your eyes a little bit because I think, broadly speaking, that that's not going to be the case. Because micronationalism in itself is quite niche. There are some micronations that buck that trend. Some, you know, do have tens of thousands. I think uh, Ladonia, I think, probably has an excess of 20,000. Um, but I think their citizenship process is a case of submitting an application online. So it's for free, which is another gripe of mine. Um, because, you know, it, it just doesn't show any particular commitment, you know, long term at least. I mean, I mean, anyway, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent. This isn't a rip on other micronations or the way they handle their uh, citizen applications or where they count citizens. This is the way that we count citizens. This is the way we um, uh, set the bar in terms of the criteria. So micronations or micronationalists that want to do something else, they can do. And those that would prefer to join a micronation for free, go and find a micronation and join for free. Because if that's the level of commitment that you are willing to give to that micronation, a micronation that will only offer you uh, something for nothing, then go with them. This is the simplest thing I can say. Um, but yeah, I think that's about everything I wanted to cover. So if you did want to become a part of the Stamerian community, please consider joining us through our Patreon campaign, the link of which is in the description below as always. Uh, alongside that is the uh, information regarding the other micronations within the Emperor of Stamaria. If you want to find out more about them, please go and find out more about them. And then uh, if they are to your liking, then also please join them. Uh, but otherwise, if you did enjoy this video, then please feel free to give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll catch you in the next one.